tell her you've been working with him for the last four years and I suppose how's your relationship grown with Quivine over the last four years at Liverpool? Is it only the last four years? <laughs> so I don't know exactly when I saw Quiv the first time but um, it's true it's um, it's quite a journey from when I saw him the first time to the from the boy I saw the first time to the man he is today. Um, he is I saw from the first second that he's incredible talent. Then um, first John Achterberg, then when Jack Robinson joined us. Um, since then as well, the boys are very very positive and. If you know how a football team works, and you know that the goalies are very often separate, so um, I don't see them all the time, but um, I see them in decisive moments. So the development is absolutely top class, and I'm not sure you ask that because I didn't understand everything. But the Alison Becker is the best goal in the world for me. There, might, there are good goalies out there, but I, 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 this goalie is absolutely insane. But to be one, I was an honest for me, Squeef Gallagher, the best number two in the world as well, um, especially for the way we play. Um, and he had an incredible game. People ask me rightly before the final, like two weeks ago or something, if he, if he will give um, Squeef another game to get some rhythm or whatever. And actually, to be one, I was an honest, it was the first time when I thought about it. Oh, yeah, there's no rhythm. But that's life of a number two, especially of a young number two that you just have to be ready when you are called and the game he played tonight was absolutely incredible i'm at least uh, sorry so many questions i'm not one hundred sure i have the full story of the whole game but at least i can remember at least two incredible saves um probably were more um so he proved that the decision to um Line him up was absolutely right, and then in a very spectacular penalty shootout, he um, showed the whole range of his skill set. Uh, first and foremost, he's a goalkeeper, so he saved one. But before that, he finished one off with his really skilled feet and um, oh, top class. Dylan, we'll go to Neil Jones and then Zia. Uh, Neil first, though. Hi, uh, Jürgen. First of all, congratulations. Um, secondly, uh, you, I, I'm sure as a manager you would pick that to, that to go through that, to go through 21, 22 penalties and 120 minutes. But in a way, is it the perfect way for this team to win because everyone contributed? The, you know, five subs, 11 penalty takers, clear people along the way. Does, is that the perfect illustration of what this team's about? Perfect would have been if he could have um, had more players on the team sheet already because this is... a uh, um, today I had to make a few really tough decisions and I said the boys in the meeting when all the boys were in, even the boys who are not, were not on the team sheet, I said this here is my squad plus and now I have to be careful that I don't forget anybody but um, plus Tyler Morton who was not with us because he was slight, he was here I hope but not in the hotel because he's slightly injured um, uh, Connell Owen Harvey from the U18s not sure who I missed. All the Elijah, boys were here. Elijah, Elijah played some minutes as well. Elijah exactly played some minutes as well. Um, Adrian saved our ass in 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 Preston. Um, so it is Steph. The whole journey was absolutely outstanding. So we need, we were lucky a little bit. Oh, we had Adrian at, at Preston. Then we scored the two goals um, without Takumi and without Devok. The goals they scored in the competition, we would not be here. Um, and so then we were three 0 down against Leicester. Um, I think most of the people wrote us up in that moment. So we came back. Wonderful story. Penalty shootout. Won it. Then we had to change the the way. Um, and the home game with Arsenal, nil nil at home against ten men. Um, there was nobody really positive about <laughs> about the, the 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 second leg. And we went there and, and won in a really nice manner. Um, so, and now tonight, facing Chelsea, come on. There was like two, two, I'm not sure, two Lions, two wild Lions um, going for each other. That was absolutely crazy. They started better. We took over and were then better. Second half started again um, with two really good moments of Chelsea. 
we sorted it again. And then in the end, everybody was tired on the pitch, obviously. And then you have to get through it. And then the penalty shootout is one of the spec most spectacular I ever saw. Um, and yeah, absolutely great to win it like this. This is a, we call it the People's Cup. But the whole journey was a was a was a squat um, journey, and that's what I love most about it. Thanks, Neil. Uh, we'll go to Zia, and we haven't got too many other hands, but uh, Zia next, and then this might conclude for us. Next. Um, hi, Jurgen. Hi. Um, now, VAR was actually introduced to minimise the errors in football, as you know. But here we are discussing VAR again because I personally was very confused about that Matip's disallowed goal. Now, how do you feel about that? And how do you feel about the progress we made with the VAR in football based on that decision tonight? I didn't, I didn't see it back. So was there any doubt about the goal of Joel? I don't know. So some, I, I, I didn't see it back, so I cannot say anything about that. But obviously, we are, it's not our favorite subject um, um, in a moment since last night. Uh, that was obviously <laughs> a, a tricky one <laughs> to understand. Um, but today, I, I have no idea. I didn't see anything back, so I cannot say anything about it. But obviously, there's still space for improvement. But that's how it is.